Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and let's reach 1000 subscribers and I will post videos on a regular basis. Also, use the super ninjutsu power to like this video and don't forget to write in the comments which anime you want me to cut. Finally, turn on the bleach bell and let's go! The anime begins with meteorites falling from the sky and among them there is one large meteorite passing through all layers of the Earth's atmosphere which is heading to some island. Next, we hear the monologues of our two main characters. Each of them says that when they wake up, they are both in tears and cannot remember what they dreamed about and they feel that they both lost something valuable and cannot understand what it was and it all started when the stars fell from the sky. In the early morning, our main character's alarm clock is ringing, but she doesn't wake up because she sees a dream in which she is giving a cord to Taki and yelling that her name is Mitsuha Miyamizu. After a dream, she wakes up in a separate room and starts touching her chest when suddenly her sister enters the room and says that the breakfast is ready, but suddenly she takes her clothes off and she starts screaming. Having come to eat in the presence of her grandmother and her youngest sister, when suddenly her grandmother and sister say that today she is behaving normally, but yesterday she was super strange. On TV it's announced that next month they will have a mayoral election and the comet will fly through the earth. After breakfast, Mitsuha goes to school and her sister goes to kindergarten. On the way to school she meets her close friend Sayachi, Sayaka Natori, and Tessi, Tishigawara Katsuhiko. They are all going to school together and they also remind her of her yesterday's strange behavior. By the road, Mayor Miyamizu Toshiki is promoting his candidacy and we find out that Mitsuha is the mayor's daughter in front of everyone he tells Mitsuha to walk smoothly. Sitting in the class, she turns a sheet of notebook and sees the inscription, who are you? On the break, her friends are reminded that yesterday she behaved very oddly. Moreover, they live in a small village where everyone knows each other and after graduation, Mitsuha wants to leave her hometown and go to live in Tokyo. Returning home, they consider all the disadvantages of this village. In the evening of the same day, we find out that her grandmother and her entire generation are weaving cords because they are servants of the Miyamizu shrine. Well, at this time, Toshiki sits at the table with colleagues and holds a repeat election while Mitsuha and Yotsuha act temple attendants to make sake from rice. The classmates saw it, started laughing and became ashamed of her. In all her anger, she screams that she hates this place and wants to be a handsome guy from Tokyo in her next life. In the morning of the next day, the alarm clock rings for the main character, Taki Tachibana, and asks himself where he is. He doesn't understand what is happening to him and behaves very strangely. And at this time, Taki's father leaves for work while Taki comes to school and he is met by close friends, Fuji Tokasa and Shinta Takagi. Sitting outside, they wonder why Taki looks strange. Then Takagi proposes to go to a new cafe and Taki rejoices with all his heart. Coming to the cafe, even sitting at the table, Taki thinks that all of this is his amazing dream. Taki receives a text message that he is late for work and confusedly asks his friend where he was. At work, Taki doesn't have time to deal with everything that is happening when suddenly a rich restaurant customer finds a toothpick and a pizza and gets angry with Taki and his colleague Miki Akutera abruptly saves him. Well, after work, we are told that this client was a mafia man and he cut her skirt and Taki, having brought her into the room, sew up her skirt. At the end of the day, we understand that this is Mitsuha in Taki's body. Unblocking the phone, she sees that he keeps a daily diary and from the pictures, we understand that he likes Miki. Seeing the very inscription, who are you again, she writes her name on her hand and falls asleep. The next morning, Taki himself wakes up and doesn't understand what the inscription is and who typed it on his phone. At school, friends make fun of his yesterday's behavior and at work, they envy him that he dove up to Kadara. The next day, now it's written on Mitsuha's hand, who are you and what are you doing? 
At school again, everyone is surprised at yesterday's antics of Mitsuha. Further, we understand that they mysteriously change his bodies and do very stupid things, in parallel, writing down everything that happened to them. Upon realizing this, they both sit in shock. During this time, they learn more about each other. Waking up, they don't remember what happened when the other was in their body, and they decided to make rules so as not to destroy each other's lives and understand this mysticism. But hiding, they are both happy being in someone else's body. In the morning, Taki and Mitsuha's body is going to school again when suddenly her grandmother takes the two sisters to the deity of their temple. Further, the grandmother says that their great guardian god is called Musubi. The cord that they weave are the threads of time is Musubi and their whole life is Musubi. Arriving at the Nemeamizu temple, the area near the temple is the hidden world. To return from there, they must leave the most precious thing they have to God. This thing turned out to be the sake. Returning home, Grandma looks at Mitsuha and sees that Taki lives in her body and asks if she is sleeping. Suddenly, Taki wakes up with tears in his eyes and receives a message from Akudaira. Reading the diary, he realizes that Mitsuha in the Taki's body arranged a date for them. Arriving at the meeting place, he looks at her and rejoices, when suddenly Mitsuha looks in the mirror and says that they must already be walking, begins to cry because she wanted to go on this date. Taki feels insecure about his date with the Kudera. While in the gallery, he notices pictures of the very village of Mitsuha. At the end of the date, Akudera notices that this date was not real and says Taki that his soul loves someone else and says goodbye to him. Mitsuha also wrote in the phone diary that at the end of the date, a comet will appear in the sky. Taki decides to call her, but no one picks up. While in the Mitsuha's village, there is a festival where she comes with cut hair, but at this time, her friends argue about why Mitsuha cut her hair and Mitsuha sees a comet but a big meteor falls from the comet. The next day, Taki wanted to tell Mitsuha about this disastrous date, but after that day, they never switched bodies again and Taki didn't see the comet. Every day, Taki tried to find her and her village, dropping everything he remembered from there. One day, Taki decided to go and find her, but at the railway station, he meets her friends, Tsukasa Fuji and Mikia Kudera, and they go with him in search of Mitsuha because they are worried about him. Next, we see that Taki doesn't know where and what this place is called. He only knows what it's looked like. After going a long way and asking many people, they don't find this place. Entering the cafe, the waitress sees his drawing and says that she knows this place. It's Itamori. Her husband told that this village has been gone for a long time, most probably three years ago and it was destroyed by a huge meteor. Arriving at this place, he remembers everything. His friends think that he has lost his mind, and he tries to show them everything that Mitsuha wrote on his phone, but suddenly all the records disappear on his eyes. Next, Taki and his friends find out from books that the part of a comet turned into a meteor and fell on Itamori. In the evening, he hid everyone who came to the temple, when suddenly in the book, he finds the names of the people who died because of this meteor, and among them, Tessi, Saichi, and Mitsuha. Friends don't believe him and think all happening is very strange. Taki begins to wonder what it was all about, dreams, tales, or something else when suddenly forgets Mitsuha's name. In the evening, Akudera notices that he has on his hand the same braided cord that is woven only in Itamori and he cannot remember who gave it to him. Saki remembers that day when he was in the midst of his body with her grandmother when they went to Musubi temple, gathered all his things, Saki leaves a note and goes to the same temple. Not knowing the way, he still believes that there he will find what he was looking for. Having come to the place, tears drip from his eyes and he understands that it was not a dream. After passing the zone of another world, he will have to sacrifice something expensive to get back. And inside the temple, he sees the same sake left by him in the midst of his body. 
He understands that Mitsuha lived three years ago. Turning to Masubi, he asks him to turn back time and drink sake, when suddenly he splits and sees hallucinations of how Mitsuha was born. Father loved them very much, but Mitsuha's mother became very ill and left this world. The father left the family because he wanted to go to politics, and the girls stayed with their grandmother. Then we see before the fall of the meteor, she wanted to go to Tokyo. We are shown how Taki screams for her to run away, but Mitsuha stood still and watched the huge meteor fall on her. Suddenly, Taki finds himself back in Mitsuha's body and starts crying. Taki in the body of Mitsuha sees on TV that today a comet should fly through the earth and is going to save everyone in the village, and the grandmother approaches her and asks if she is not Mitsuha, and she tells that she and Mitsuha's mother had the same dreams. Taki tells Granny that today Meteor will fall and destroy half of the village. Arriving at school, she tells her friends that a meteor will fall today and all the inhabitants must be safe. They are going to evacuate all the residents to the school zone and take over the radio station. When she came to her father, she told him what will happen, but her father calls her sick and doesn't believe her. When suddenly she attacks him and he realizes that this is not Mitsuha. Seeing her sister in the street, she tells her that she is acting strange and went to Tokyo yesterday, but Taki in the body of Mitsuha doesn't remember this. Realizing that Taki was in the temple, she took the bike from Tessie and she went to temple. Tessie asked about the plan and she said that everything is good and plan will be done. Meanwhile, Mitsuha moved into Taki's body and saw that the meteor destroyed her village and she realized that she had died that day, while Taki is in Mitsuha's body, hurried with all his might to get to the temple. Moreover, we were shown the day when Mitsuha went to Tokyo, all the way she thought about what would happen when they meet. Arriving in Tokyo, she called him, but the number was turned off. All the day she was looking for him, she believed that she will find him, but at the same time she understood that it was almost impossible. Entering the train that leads to her house and passing a crowd of people, she met him. However, at this time, Taki in the body of Mitsuha almost fell off the cliff, but continued on his way to the temple, because he wanted to see her. Mitsuha, having gathered courage, began to talk to him but he didn't understand who it is. At the final station when she was getting off the train, Taki asked her name and she giving her card said my name is Mitsuha and the train with Taki left. But at this time Taki and the body of Mitsuha reached the temple and on the cliff, not seeing who and where, he and she found each other. And when the cloud blocked the sunlight, they saw each other and they both returned to their bodies and she started crying he told that he was looking for her, but they are so far away. He told that he drinks a cat, and she started acting like a real girl. Suddenly, she noticed the same gifted cord, and he said that he had kept it for all these years and returned it to her, and they both started laughing. There was very little time left, and in order not to forget each other, they decided to write their names on the palms in order not to forget when they woke up. Trying to write her name on the palm of Taki, the date ends and she disappears without writing her name. He said that he will never forget her name and will find her wherever she will be. However, trying to write, he unexpectedly forgets her name and forgets why he is here. Also, he forgets her, forgets his love. However, while crying, Mitsuha runs to the village to save its inhabitants saying and repeating his name on the way. Tessie and Mitsuha come to power plant and plant explosive, and suddenly the plant exploded and the power goes out throughout the old village, and Saichi asks all the residents to go to school via the loudspeakers. With the help of a fire, they are trying to evacuate all the inhabitants when suddenly Mitsuha has tears in her eyes, and she says that she has forgotten Taki's name and runs to her father to pursue him to evacuate all the entire village to school. While Saichi was asking everyone to run away, village security workers came to her and took her away, and the village hall began to pursue the residents to stay where they were. 
but at this time the comet split it and everyone realized that the meteor will fall on them. Mitsuha could not remember Taki's name and fell down, remembering the words about the fact that they should write their names on each other's palms. She, lying on the ground with bruises and scars from the fall, opened her palm and saw the inscription, I love you, and began to cry. Gathering her strength, she ran to her father's office and we saw how the meteor is falling on the village and how it was expected, it fell and destroyed half of the village. While in the present, Taki woke up after everything that had happened and did not understand what he was doing there. Looking at the palm, he didn't remember everything that had happened to him. And then, one day, when he was on the subway, he saw the silhouette of Mitsuha running after her. She lost her. But at this time, we find out that the main character had been looking for someone all his life, but he didn't know whom exactly, and he could not find a job. But then Akudera wrote to him and they met. They remembered the day when they went to Itamari because five years have passed since that day. In that day, Meteor fell in the midst of his timeline, but all the inhabitants remained intact, which means Mitsuha survived. Leaving home, Akudera wished Taki to find happiness. Sitting in the cafe, he noticed the couple and they were Saichi and Tessie and they were discussing a future wedding and he didn't remember them. Walking home in the rain, he feels that someone important to him passed him and it turned out to be Mitsuha. She also felt that this is someone important, but not remembering each other, they moved on. The next day, going to work and taking the subway, they passed each other and feel something very warm in their souls. Descending at the next station, they start running towards each other, and in a huge staircase, they both met, but they think that there are different people, and they start to path each other, when suddenly Taki gathers courage and asks if they have seen each other somewhere before. Mitsuha looks at him and crying, asks, what's your name? He is also crying and asks the same question, and they both find each other. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. Please don't forget to subscribe. It will really help me. Goodbye.